Are you a motivated person? Are you trying to do all the good habits, but you can't? You struggle. You just want to be ever so slightly more motivated so you can do the good habits, but no matter what, you can't do it. And it's because you're doing the wrong thing. It's all because of your identity. Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good and there's a chance that no one has asked you that today. So I hope you've been all right. Now there is a concept that I want you to wrap your head around, which will help you truly understand why it is that you aren't getting motivated or you aren't able to do the things, the good habits that you want to do. Go to gym, read more, eat more healthy, go out inside more. Why you can't stay motivated for all these things that you used to enjoy so much. And it's because of the concept known as the outside versus the inside. Now, the outside is the way you act, what people see, the way you behave. Whereas the inside is the way you think, it's the way you feel. Now, people, people will only ever see the outside. People will never ever see the inside. When you try changing the outside without genuinely changing the inside, you become off as inauthentic, as uncomfortable, as not really, you know, as if you're kind of fake, you're not really acting like yourself, and you come off as anything but confident. You know, this is what I learned from a lot of body language books that I read about, you know, when you try changing the outside, but you haven't changed the inside yet. So it's better to change the inside, and the inside will reflect to the outside, to the actions that you make, it will change the moment you change the inside first. Now that's where I want to come to this concept known as your identity. Your identity is basically what you believe yourself to be. Your identity is made up of your actions. So for example, if I was a smoker, I would identify as a smoker because I smoke 10 packs of cigarettes a day. That's a lot. I've never done that. <laughs> that that's quite a lot of 10 packs of cigs a day. I, 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 but yeah, you know what I mean. If I smoke 10 packs of cigs a day, I would identify as a smoker. I go to the gym every, every single day. I identify as a gym rat. I cook myself food, healthy food every single day. I identify as someone who eats healthy. You see where I'm getting at. So your identity is made up from your actions. So ask yourself this. What is your identity right now? You see, you're trying to do all the good habits. You're trying to do all the good things. You're trying to get motivated for it. But that's the problem. You're aiming to change your identity, but not really changing your actions. You need to focus on changing your actions without motivation. If we waited around to change our actions only when we're motivated, then we would never ever do anything. I would never ever do anything. You know, if I wanted to change my actions only when I was motivated, I would never ever get up at 6am. I would always sleep in. Yet yeah, I do get up at 6am. There's something that I've learned from motivation, you know, ever since going on self-improvement two years ago, it's something that we simply cannot control. There are things we can do to make ourselves more motivated, you know, sleep better, eat better, go to the gym more, live a healthier lifestyle. But that's what you have to do first to become more motivated. Motivation comes later. You don't start with it. There have been times where I will get up in the morning and I really don't want to go to the gym. I'm not motivated at all. I don't want to, but I'll go anyway. When I do, 10 minutes within being in the gym, I'm then motivated. Motivation tends to come after you've actually decided to do the action. So, if you want to change your identity, you know, you want to change the outside, what people see, you need to focus on the actions, your inside. Changing that first without focusing on motivation will change your identity and you will end up becoming motivated whilst you're doing it in the long run. You don't start with motivation. Motivation comes after. So the next time you want to do something, you want to change your actions. You want to become more healthy. I want to go to the gym. Uh, I want to cook myself some healthy food. I want to read more. I want to go outside more. Into nature. Don't wait for motivation. Just go do it. Trust me. You know, oh, I, I want to be motivated to go outside, go into nature. Just go. After walking in nature for 10 minutes, then you'll be motivated. 
because motivation doesn't start first it comes afterwards discipline is what starts first so the next time you want to go do something positive just go do it don't wait for when you feel like it don't wait for when you're motivated for it go do it when you don't want to that's the best time because motivation comes after and when you have that motivation afterwards you're happy that you went I'm glad I went to the gym today. I didn't feel like it earlier, but now I feel motivated and I'm here. I'm glad I went outside today. Wasn't going to, didn't want to, but I feel goddamn better that I did. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been alright. And but I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video and that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hola, senor. Come here, give me a sub from you guys. Mwah.